Okay, here's the solution to quiz 14 in MENG 1230 statics. It's very similar to our problem from last week. We have a wheel that has a moment applied to it. We're using a, a brake that has a belt rather than uh, one point of friction. We have this entire belt in contact with that. The belt is attached to the, the lever arm here at point A and point D arm pivots at point C, we're applying a force P uh, 7 tenths of a meter from that point C pivot. So our, what we're asked here is to determine that, that force that we're applying, nope. and we have a moment of 300 newton meters, Told the coefficient of friction between the belt and the wheel is 0.3 and then we're told how we get points here. So we can get some hints here. We get step one, we're going to draw some free body diagrams. Step two, we're going to determine beta. And that's the uh, angle and radians at which the belt contacts this. Determine beta. Well, three, find T1 or let's call it TA in terms of, of TD or vice versa. I haven't decided what yet which way I'm going to do that. Then we're going to write some equations of equilibrium. So pretty similar to last week. And then we will uh, five solve for our value of P. So step one, FBDs, so we'll have a, a wheel, got some point here, again we'll have BY, BX, we've got our moment, our radius here is 0 0.3 meters, and we're going to have friction being applied around this whole length, so we're going to have friction all through here, going in that direction. Um, the other forces that are applied here is TA, and TD is going to be pulling down on this, across that here. On our, on our brake itself, we have this type of shape here. the end we have P, at this point we have C, so we're going to have CY, and these might be backwards, we'll find out when I actually apply it. TA is going to be pulling on this, again belts uh, always have tension, so they'll be pulling on their points of application. Here's TD, and that is it. So there's our free body diagrams, I've got that done. How far how much is in contact here? Well, it looks like b the belt near point A ends being in contact at the bottom of this rotation, and it near point D is close to uh, being perfectly horizontal. So step two, beta equals 270 degrees, and that goes to 270 over 360 times 2 pi gets us 3 pi over 2 so that's my beta get a point for that now let's look at our friction here so on the wheel we're applying friction this way on the belt itself we'll have friction going the other way way so TD must be greater than TA. So for three, we'll have TD equals TA. And this is again E to the beta mu. So we'll fill in those values here. TD equals TA E to the three pi over two times 0 0.3 believe that was our value. Let me go up here. Yep, there's 0 
So TD equals 4.1112 TA. That's TD in terms of TA. All right, so now we can finally write some equilibrium equations. Let me scroll down a little bit. So let's come over here. Equations of equilibrium. All right, so we've got our wheel. So let's take our moment around B. Must equal zero. So we have zero equals. Our moment is 300 newton meters. That's positive. That's our M. What are our actions on that? We're going to have TA. And this is going to be acting to go counterclockwise. TA times 0 0.3. It's our radius. Minus TD times 0 0.3. And we have TA in terms of TD, or TAD in terms of TA, so I'll substitute that in. 300 newton meters plus 0 0.3 TA plus 4.1112 TA times 0 0.3. So we can solve that. We find that TA equals 321.4 newtons or 321 newtons to three figures so TD is going to be 4.1112 times that or 1.321 kilonewtons which goes to 1.32 kilonewtons and then finally we can write an equation for the bar here, so we're going to have a little bit of offset where TD and TA are on the bar. So I should have maybe added that dimension here. So this dimension, my free body diagram, diagram at 0 0.06 meters. This point to this, let's see, there to there. That's going to be 0 0.025 meters. So what are we going to have there? So around some of the moments, around point C equals zero. So we have zero. We have TD times 0 0.025. Again, that would be rotating counterclockwise. It's positive. Minus TA times 0 0.06 minus P times 0 0.7. So I can move P over to the other side and divide by 0.7. So we have TD times 0 0.025 minus TA times 0 0.06 all over 0 0.7. Substitu substituting these values of TA and TD into that, I find P equals 19.63 newtons which goes to 19.6 newtons for three significant figures. And we get two points for that. We got one point here, one point here, one point for this equilibrium equation, one point for this equilibrium equation. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven for TA in terms of TD, eight there, and one each for free body diagrams. So that gets us our 10 points for this problem.